completely full. This one seems to be okay. You're a lifesaver. Anytime, my man, anytime. Oh. This race. We are in the middle of acclimating and I lose power again. I mean, I'm assuming this one's alive. What's up, YouTube? It's Mike here, back with another video. I'm excited. We've got a lot of stingrays to go pick up in this one. Before we get into it, I ask you please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell for notifications, and if you like the video, please like the video. A little bit of a backstory. Rod from Predatory Fins hit me up about a week ago and said, hey man, would you happen to have a little bit of room for some stingrays? Now, you guys know me, I'll make room. I can always make room for some stingrays. However, this is a lot of stingrays. But let's go pick them up. Let's go to the airport, pick everything up, and then we can talk a little bit more about what's going on. So all I'm bringing to the airport is these dollies because a couple of these boxes are maybe like three or four of these boxes are huge. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like move them around easily myself. So I'm hoping that these in some way will help me. I don't have anyone to come to the airport with me. It's early in the morning on a Friday. We just had a bad storm uh, that lasted a couple days and a lot of people had to take time off of work so they can't take time off of work th today uh, like I am. So I am by myself and I am hoping, hoping, hoping that I can load these boxes into the truck alone, but we will see. Well, I got him, but barely. The truck is completely full to the brim. And let me tell you, this one right here, if I was any less of a man, I would never have been able to get this thing on the truck. This is absolutely ridiculous, but we got it done. Let's get out of here. All right, we're back at the house. Everything is here safely. So I'm waiting on my help. But I'm gonna start getting some of these smaller ones out. Definitely gonna leave the bigger ones until uh, help arrives. Looks 
looks good. Just a lot of it picking. It's a smaller ray, but it has a star on the blocks. Good. Well, Oh my god. Right. I'm gonna put her in the 600. Easy enough. Good buddy. This one seems to be okay. It's hard to tell until we get them out of the bags, but I think they're okay. They're at least alive right now. This one's large, I'm gonna put it in the 1100. It's bigger than I expected. So I don't think I can put it in here. I can't tell. I mean, I'm assuming this one's alive. I can't tell through the bag. It's good size, so we're gonna acclimate to the 1100. It's all the same water, but I'm gonna put it in the 1100. This one actually has a lot of water in the box, so I think I'm just gonna float them. Although that's a bad idea too. I might just, let's see, I'll see, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Caleb, you're um, a lifesaver. Anytime, my man, anytime, oh. I'm close. Much appreciated. My buddy Caleb came to help me out with this huge task of acclimating these rays. Um, I would never be able to get these big boxes down here without you, dude. So anytime, man. Anytime. You know, I'm just a little while away. I appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna start getting some of the bigger ones in. This raids. I'm gonna put it all off this 
Okay, this big one appears to be alive. Yeah, the small ones can go by the 600. So we got, let's see, these ones just got open. That one looks good. That one looks good. This one looks good. They are big. So I don't even know if I could put them in here. I don't know if I could put them in there, but we'll figure it out. They're alive, that's all that matters. We still got these big ones. I got this one acclimating. I'm trying to acclimate them quickly with a big hose. Water is pretty nasty on some of these, so we shall see. <laughs> well, it's alive, dude. It stinks, though. appears to be alive yep live and kick 
We are in the middle of acclimating and I lose power again. This is, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. So we got all these unboxed and I have stored away all of the smaller boxes. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with some of these bigger ones because they're, they're definitely my way, but I gotta hang on to them for a while um, until Kevin is ready to come pick up the rays again. So we're gonna reuse these boxes when it's time for the rays to go to their new home. But check this out, guys. These rays are absolutely massive. So this is the 1500, obviously, if you guys are familiar with the channel. What I did was I put the four biggest rays into the 1500, so into the biggest tank, basically. And this is also a breeding group of four um, from what Kevin told me. So it's three females and one male that I believe he had all together as a group and he's been breeding for a while. I think the oldest is, um, well, I'm not sure how the oldest, how, how old the oldest is, but the biggest is five years old, he was saying, and she is just absolutely insane. She is beautiful. What a dream fish. I can actually only hope that my hybrid, this one was mine, I've had this one, but this is actually from the center from Stingray Biology. I can only hope that she eventually gets to not only that size, but hopefully she becomes a breeder someday as well. Um, but you can kind of see the quality of these rays and you can see the quality of the hybrid that I got from Kevin a couple years back. Um, and it's just amazing to see their size and especially with this just being a five-year-old ray um, That is a 30 inch disc ray that is over a two foot disc ray So that is just absolutely amazing How big these rays really are and the tank it's very deceiving when they get especially as they get further away It's really deceiving to see uh, to really tell how big they are so they look amazing, they've been doing really well. They are skinny, but they're skinny because he had to purge them for a long time. So purging is basically where you don't feed the rays before shipping. The last thing you wanna do is feed any animal before you have to move it because it's going to uh, urinate or go to the bathroom in any way in the bag. So you don't want them to have a full belly. And with a ray this size, you really need to purge them for a long time. Kevin explained this in one of his videos that uh, rays have very long intestines so food can stay in their systems for a long time. So he had to purge them without food for over a week so they're very skinny and I'm working on fattening them up, uh, back up I should say. Uh, they are all eating, every single ray is eating and I will show you guys obviously the others but I wanted to really show you guys this uh, because it's just amazing to see obviously a little cramped, but it could be worse um, And it is just temporary. I'm trying to obviously help them out now over to the 600 I put I believe uh, Three of the rays in here that he sent so this one which is absolutely insane This is a male and he was already chewed up like this when he came in. I assume that um, Kevin has been keeping him with a bunch of other rays. So he's getting a little beat up, but uh, actually, he's been healing up in here. I haven't seen any aggression from him. It looks like he's hungry from what I'm seeing. He looks very hungry, which is great. And then we've got this big female. Um, she is beautiful. And don't ask me what type of rays these are. From what I can see, they look like mostly hybrids. Um, I, I think they're all different types of hybrids, but I'm not positive. I'm sure uh, Kevin knows exactly what they are, but I don't. I'm no ray expert. Um, so this female and then this other male also were his. I put some of the smaller ones into the 600 because it kind of made sense. And uh, yeah, they've been doing great. Again, all three of them are eating as well. And last but not least, I put the other five stingrays into the 1100. And these are kind of like medium sized rays. Uh, I would say anywhere from 12 to 18 inch. They're, I think they're all over 12 inch disc. They're probably all closer to 18 inch disc. Um, a lot of males I noticed, I think uh, out of the five in here, only two are females and there's three males. I can't really remember, um, but I'm looking right now. That's a female, male, male, 
and I can't tell on these two. Let's see what we got back here. That's actually might be a female as well. And then that's a male. So yeah, we got three males that we added in with my one male. This one in the front is the one I've had. I've had this one for years. I actually got this guy from Rod at Predatory Fins years ago um, as a smaller, much smaller ray. Anyway, they are uh, all doing great, all eating and uh, very cool. This is a little less cramped because of their size. Um, also, I wasn't too worried about putting them in here because uh, they're all clipped, so I don't really have to worry about my turtle or worry about them stabbing anything. But all in all, everything has gone pretty well, and again, everything is eating. Um, I do have to be really careful adding this kind of bio load to these systems. Um, I had a bunch of pumps let go on me last week due to power outages, I fried uh, well, the power outages seem to fry a controller, a power supply, and then my backup pumps. For whatever reason, I had two backup pumps and both of them fried too. I'm going to get into that into in another video. But basically, we got this system running um, at kind of like 50%. I, I've got a small pump that I'm trying to feed this with to kind of make up for what I've lost from one of my pumps failing. And then I've got a... Uh, a canister feeding this which also is making up for a pump failing uh, long story again I'm gonna get into all that in another video um, my buddy Caleb big shout out to him he helped me do the unboxing he also hooked me up with a bunch of um, FX's that he had lying around that he isn't using which are gonna help me a great deal to make up for the uh, pumps going so I'm kind of going to use them to supplement that but again I'll get into that in another video I really just wanted to kind of show you guys the rays and uh, just uh, we can kind of just enjoy having them so amazing to see and I know you guys are gonna have a lot of questions so I did want to try to go over a few things with you guys I know a lot of people are asking me like oh how much did you pay for the rays and you know uh, you know, how are you adding them, those many rays at once and blah, blah, blah. So basically, I wanted to briefly explain what's been going on. So Predatory Fins and the Center for Stingray Biology are both moving. The Center for Stingray Biology are uh, in California. Predatory Fins is in Florida. They want to combine their facilities and move to New York. So that's what their plan is. Now, for them to move... They need to have systems set up. This is a cross-country move. So from California to New York is crazy going west coast to east coast. So Kevin needed someone or multiple people to house rays for him while he moves. So now that he has emptied out a bunch of tanks, so he sent me a bunch of rays. He sent Ohio Fish Rescue tons of rays, far more rays. I think he sent them over 40 rays. So he... He's sending as many people with big tanks as he can that he knows that he can trust. He's sending them his rays to hold on to while they move so he can move all his tanks to the new facility. Not quite sure how long it'll take them to set up, um, but basically I said, you know what, I'm, I'm willing to help out. I can house them for you for months. Whatever you got to do, let's, uh, let's get it done. Always willing to help out if I can. Um, I didn't want to overdo it. I, I think we're kind of pushing it a little bit, but I can totally make this work. I felt like we could safely make this amount of rays work. If I took any more, it would definitely be pushing it. Um, but yeah, basically we are helping Rod and Kevin move. That That's basically what it comes down to. And they are going to take, or Kevin is going to take all of his rays back once his new facility is up and running. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I will say that I do appreciate Rod and Kevin trusting me to take care of these rays. I will do my best to care for them while they move. And uh, yeah, again, I'm just happy to help out. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We will get to all enjoy seeing these rays under my care for the next few months or until they are ready to take them back. So you'll get to see these rays on the channel for a while, which will be fun. And I am definitely going to enjoy this experience. But I thank you guys, as always, for watching. I ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the video. 
follow Kevin at the Center for Stingray Biology. Follow his channel. They went over a lot of this stuff. Follow Rod at Predatory Fins, of course. They've been doing a ton of packing. You can see them pack these rays before they ship them. Um, and of course, go follow Ohio Fish Rescue. They got four shipments of rays in. Amazing videos, really cool to see. And we will see you guys in that next video. Thanks.